If you're not familiar with Flexbox, it's a set of CSS properties that make it easy to style websites and position elements on a page. And you can use them as a better alternative to uh, CSS floats or table layouts, both of which are dreadful. So we'll start by opening our layout.blade file and we'll go inside of our app container and we'll include layout.header. Next, we'll go ahead and create that uh, layout folder and we'll create a new file called header.blade.php and we'll create a header element and we'll put a container inside of it so we can uh, center it and we'll create our first link for the logo and we'll link to the home page and we'll call our company company x so next we'll uh, create a nav element and we'll put a uh, link inside of it and we'll link nowhere for now so let's say we have a cars division and we'll copy it a few times so maybe we also have a uh, solar roofs division and a tunneling division and because this is obviously fictive, we could say we also dabble in space exploration. So next we'll open app.scss and we'll create a section for layouts and we'll import uh, layout slash layout for more general layout styles. Next we'll copy it and we'll import a header styles. So we'll go ahead and create a new folder for layouts. And next we'll create a new file for uh, our general layout styles and we'll and first we'll style our container and we'll give it a max width of 960 pixels and margin of zero auto so it's centered and we can close it and create a new file for our header styles and we'll start with header and we'll give it a background of dark blue a padding of 10 pixels and zero pixels and next we'll style our logo and we'll do display block and we'll do a font size of 1.5 RAM and a font weight of 700 and a color of white. So next we'll style our nav and more specifically our links and we'll do display block and padding 25 pixels and the color is going to be a lighter blue and when you hover over it, it should get lighter by 15%. Now, if you open a browser window and look at our navigation, you can see that it's not quite the look we're going for here. So let's see how we can get all of our links on the same line with Flexbox. And to do that is really easy. All we have to do is set the nav to display flex. And if we go back to the browser, you can see that everything is all lined up. So let's say you want to have the logo on the left and the navigation on the right. We can use Flexbox for this once again. And we'll open our header file and add a class of flex to the container and then open layout.scss and set a class of flex to display flex. Now, if we go back to the browser, you can see that everything is on the same line. However, we have another problem because the logo is not the same height as the links, so it doesn't look vertically centered. Now, thankfully, Flexbox has a property that can help us with that. So all we have to do is create a selector for flex here and add align items and set it to center. And if we go back to the browser, you can see that it's now vertically aligned. Now, let's say you want to have the logo on the left and the navigation on the right. In the past, you might have done float left on the logo and float right on the nav and then wondered why your header as a whole has no height. But thankfully, Flexbox has another property called justify content that you can use. And if we set it to space between and go back to the browser, you can see that we now have the logo on the left, the nav on the right and space in between both of them. So next, we'll be adding some content to the page. So we'll go back to our layers file and we'll create a container and inside of the container we'll put our main content and we will yield content. Next we'll have a sidebar and we will yield sidebar. So now we'll open our home.blade file and we'll create a section for the content and I will simply put some lorem ipsum here just like that. And next we'll create a section for our sidebar and we'll simply write sidebar inside. Next, we'll give the sidebar a few styles. So we'll open our layout.scss file and we'll create our selector and we'll give it a padding of 25 pixels, a background of light gray and a width of 300 pixels. Now, as you can see, everything is kind of stuck together. We need a little bit of space uh, below the header and we want the sidebar to be on the right of the content. So we'll go back to our header.scss file and we'll add a little bit of margin bottom and we'll do 50 pixels. And next we'll go back to our layout.blade file and we'll add a class of flex to the container. 
and as you can see we do have the sidebar on the right now but it's not 300 pixels anymore and it's a little bit uh, tight with the content so let's go back to our layout.css file and we'll create a selector for main and set a margin right of 50 pixels and next we'll go back to our sidebar and we'll set flex shrink to zero and we'll give our main a flex grow of one now what that does is tell the browser that we don't want our sidebar to shrink below 300 pixels and flex grow means that we want our main content to fill up the rest of the space now as you can see our sidebar is now 300 pixels and our main fills up whatever is left now the next thing we'll do is add a page title so we'll go back to our layout.blade file and we'll yield a page title and next we'll open our home.blade file and we'll create a new section for our page title and then we'll create a div with a class of page title and we'll put a container inside and we'll create an h1 and let's say this is a page about space exploration and we could have an h2 subtitle and say all your base are belong to us which might make sense if you're older than 30 and next we'll open our app.scss file and we'll add another style for our page title so we'll go ahead and create that file inside of our scss layout folder so we'll do page title and we'll do margin bottom of 75 pixels we'll do line height of 1.25m we'll do text align center next we'll style our h1 and we'll do font size of 2 rem color of black and text transform of uppercase so next we'll style our h2 and we'll do font size of 1.25 rem we'll do color of gray and a font weight of 400 so as you can see we now have a title and a subtitle but what if we wanted to have the subtitle above the title in the design but not in the html and one reason for that could be seo but there's also other scenarios where you might want your content to display in a different order than your html so let's see how we can achieve that with flexbox so we'll open our home.blade file and we'll add a class of flex to the container once again and next we'll go to our page title.scss file and we'll add flex and we'll do flex direction and we'll use column reverse so what that does is tell the browser to display the content in a column instead of a row but also to display them in reverse order which means the h2 will be on top therefore we'll add a margin bottom of 25 pixels to it and as you can see the subtitle is now above the title but if we inspect the h1 you can see that in the html the h1 is still above the h2 now as a bonus we'll add some flair to our page title so we'll do position a relative and we'll add some padding bottom of 50 pixels and next we'll create a pseudo after element and we'll give it a content of nothing and we'll do position absolute and we'll do bottom zero pixels with 100 pixels and we'll do left 50 percent and margin left minus half of its width next we'll do height of one pixel and a background of light gray which gives us this line at the bottom of our page title so this will conclude today's video if you've enjoyed it please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss the next video thank you for watching